What's going on, my ghouls and gals? It's been a while since I've reviewed Tokyo Ghoul Re. I'm sorry. And even longer since I've made like a Tokyo Ghoul prediction, discussion, and etc., etc. And I figured that since we just got the announcement that Tokyo Ghoul will be getting a season 3 sometime in 2016, a link is in the description to that article, by the way. I said, what better time than now to talk about our favorite Kaneki-kun? Now, before I dive into this, let me say there will be spoilers. Like, if you only have seen Tokyo Ghoul and Tokyo Ghoul Route A, you know, the anime, you may want to steer clear because there are some things I'm going to be talking about that may just hurt your heart. Oh, I love you. Give me a hug before you go, and bye-bye. But something I've been thinking about as the Tokyo Ghoul Re chapters have been progressing is there any way for Sasuke slash Kaneki to ever be truly happy? What I mean by this is, I guess you can argue that his current life is better now since he's not being hunted. He's the one doing the hunting. But you have to admit, man, like, you know that Sasuke, like, in the latest chapters, he has, like, a soft spot for ghouls because when he walked in there and saw all of them, like, fighting and a few ghouls dead, a few CCG members dead, he's like... Man, this, this is just so fucked up. This is just so heartless. So he does have a soft spot because, I mean, ghouls are essentially people too when you really think about it. They're, they're just trying to live their lives how they can, the only way that they can, and they're being hunted. So, And I'm pretty sure Sasuke feels this way also. And just the stress on going out on missions and you know killing and hunting ghouls and having these underlings that you have to take care of if anything ever happens to any of them i'm pretty sure his heart is going to be broken but the biggest thing is of course him not having his memories him not knowing that he is i mean he does know he is ken kaniki but he doesn't have his full memory and that alone even if he lives out the rest of his life even if he for some whatever reason like learns to love killing ghouls and this is like what he wants to do for the rest of his life if he doesn't have his memories there's always going to be that hmm like where did i come from who am i there's going to be something missing from sasuke whereas if he does get his memories back and he does become ken kaneki like 100 percent ken kaneki again but still remembers everything about him being sasuke then that's going to be even worse in my opinion because he's going to be torn. I'm pretty sure he's going to want to go back to Toka and that means he's probably going to have to end up leaving his new squad, his new family. So that's going to be a heartache in his own. He's going to remember that his mother is dead. He's going to remember that a few of his friends are dead. He's going to remember everything that we've seen Kaneki go through in you know part one like the torture from memory like everything like he ate ghouls to get that half kakuja he's going to remember all the pain and suffering that he's went through and we know that in root a hide is dead it's not confirmed in the manga what happened to him but my biggest fear is that when he gets his memories back he's going to realize that he is the one that did something terrible to hide and that's just going to fuck him up because hide has been the one that's been there for Kaneki even like before the ghoul transformation and after. So if we get a flashback of Kaneki remembering that he ate or fucked up uh, Hide like down there in that sewer because that chapter is just fucking crazy. We have no idea what happened. If we get a flashback like that, Kaneki is going to go insane. So in some senses, it is better that he does stay Sasuke so he doesn't have to you know, deal with that much pain, but we all know that everyone wants Ken Kaneki back. We want the, the finger-popping badass that just captured our hearts that made us get into this show in the first place. But you have to think about this. Should Kaneki really come back? You know, we want this, but when he does find out who he is, he's going to have that fulfillment of actually remembering who he is, of course. But like I said, just the combined pain from being a ghoul investigator and then remembering that he was being hunted by them, the people that he's working with now. I just think that, you know, because Kaneki, let's get real, he's not the most mentally stable guy in this show. So if you combine like the stress of being a in the CCG and then remembering everything that he's been through and then having to decide if he's going to go back to that life and then you know whether he's going to stay with that family and pretend that he's Sasuke still he's going to go fucking insane I mean Kaneki his brain is fucked up it's fried let's get real he's awesome I love the guy but he has some mental issues as of right now so this guy is going to go like Super Saiyan Centipede or something. I don't know what the fuck's going to happen to him when he remembers. But 
do we really want to put Kaneki through that much pain? I mean, I know we want closure, but that's just heartless, man, to want anyone to go through this. Hasn't Kaneki been through enough? Now, I'm not saying I don't want him back because I damn sure do, even though I kind of feel bad for saying that, but... Kaneki is going to suffer either way. Whether he stays Sasuke for the rest of his life, he's going to be missing like that part of him. Like, who am I? Where did I come from? And if he turns back to Kaneki, in my opinion, he's going to be missing even more because he's going to remember that he has no mother anymore, that a few of his friends are dead, that he's been living a lie all these years, and just so many things that could possibly go wrong with him regaining his memories. But, I mean, the story isn't over yet. Hopefully, when he does finally get his memories back, because let's get real where he's going to get them back eventually. Hopefully there are more redeeming qualities, like maybe he hooks up with Toka, maybe he gets back with the old gang, maybe he breaks Hinami out of the CCG, because as far as I know, she's still in there. So if he remembers that he is like Kaneki, I mean like he gets his memory back and realize that he is the reason that she's in there, he's going to have a fucking fit, man, because he wanted to protect her so much when he was Ken Kaneki. And just the fact, like, there's going to be a Hanami breakout arc or some shit. So far, the message in this show is, well, for what I'm getting anyway, is trying to get over your pain and accept what you've been through and just be who you are. So hopefully, like, I mean, either way, like I said, Kaneki's going to feel pain, whether he stays Sasuke or whether he turns back into full Ken Kaneki. But the question is, will he be able to accept what happened and get over his pain? That's when I think he'll be happy, like when he becomes Ken Kaneki again and realize that his mom is dead, that he they possibly may be dead and he may be the one that did it to him, that he is part ghoul, that he did kill ghouls at some point, he did eat on ghoul flesh, he was tortured, like his fucking toes and fingers and shit were like torn and ripped off and regrown again. Once he realizes and remembers all of this and then comes to terms to it, and not be like, I'm a ghoul. Just say, I'm Ken Kaneki. That's what I want him to say. I remember that chapter, everybody was so hyped when he ate Rize and was like, I'm a ghoul. And then he went in. I want him to say, I'm Ken Kaneki. That's what I want by the end of this series. For him to be able to just accept himself and just remember what everything that made him stronger and not be such a psychotic, crazy person. Because that's what Ken Kaneki is. And that's what he's been for a while now ever since the centipede was put in his ear pretty much that's when i think he will get true happiness so yes i do think it's possible for kaneki to be happy but i think he has to go through like immeasurable pain and tears and there's going to be so many things that's going to fuck him up like even if he turns back to ken kaneki right now uh, that's going to be horrible, but I'm pretty sure there are going to be some more things throughout Tokyo Ghoul Re that's going to test his sanity. Like, someone's going to die close to him. Like, he's going to get hurt or fucked up. He's going to have to uh, go against someone who he cared about at some point. Like, there's going to be more pain coming. I already can tell how Tokyo Ghoul Re is going now, especially in the current fight with Shu Sukiyama. So, with all this being said, I think that... Uh, Kaneki's quest for happiness is going to have to, he's going to have to climb some tremendous mountains of pain and suffering and sorrow, but I do think that Ken Kaneki can become Ken Kaneki and be happy. But tell me what you guys think about that down below. This has been JB Dutch, yeah. like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.